Hey there, everybody. Pete Pardo here from Comic Book Users. Welcome to another episode of Inside the Cover and uh, showing you what's inside the cover today, my partner in crime over here. Hello, comic book fans. I am Wild Billy on the comic. I like to keep it that way. Uh, yeah, we're doing Inside the Cover, sort of. Um, not really doing a comic book. And we're not really going... We're going inside the cover, but I ain't going to tell you shit. Well, because there's so <laughs> much inside this cover, it'll... it'll too much. Be, we're doing yeah. Epic Magazine. Yeah. Um, this I bought off the stands after I rode my bike into town. Aha, one of those. This is one of those adventures where I went into town for comics and found Epic Magazine, which we had known was new at the time. I believe this is issues from 1980. And what uh, issue or volume number is this? This is number three. Okay. This is a Paul... How do you say it? Galassi? Paul Galassi. Yeah. yeah, this is a Paul Galassi cover. And Fantastic. Very sci-fi. Yeah. So Marvel wanted to get into the sci-fi adult category because they were doing the monster books like Dracula. Mm -hmm. and so this was called originally Odyssey Magazine, but lo and behold, Ma Marvel forgot that there was already an Odyssey Magazine out there. So they couldn't use the name Odyssey due to trademark infringement laws. That's right. So they changed the title to Epic Magazine. And I think it's, I forget, I think this went like 38 issues. This lasted like maybe four years or five years. I think Kirk has all of them. I, I don't I think, I don't think, them. I only have two. I have this one, I have the one after it. Yeah, I got a couple. But it, it, um, if I had seen more on the stands, I probably would have bought them. Yeah, I don't remember seeing these much at all. At all. So, I think this was like a dollar, two, two dollars? Two dollars. Two dollars, yeah. Okay. But this one's worth about 50 because of the cover. And I think it's because there's a first appearance of a character in here, but... Uh, What's the, cool about this magazine is it's it's had, the purpose of this episode is to show you the layout of how these things. Uh, yeah, you know, so you, you, if, here you got like the same kind of ads you would find in Playboy, right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So you get your adult ads, big lighters. You can't even see a lighter advertisement. It's, nothing about smoking cigarettes doesn't exist in advertising nowadays. So you get your index, right? And it'll tell you all who all the artists are involved. Yep, so Stan Lee, director Archie Goodwin, James Shooter, uh, editorial. Jim Starlin is one of the artists. Um, yeah, why do they not even have the artists on this page? No, anyway, maybe it's somewhere else. You would think. Not down here? No, it's weird. Lettering, wait, lettering, art production. Okay, so on the art production, Marie Severin, John Tartaglioni, Edward Lilstein, production. Uh, by Thomas lettering, yeah, interesting. So you have black and white, and you have color art. Yeah, that's what's really cool about this one because a lot of these magazines were just black and white. This mixes both, which is really, really interesting. And the stories, like they jump around. Like you might read like the first fifteen pages, and there'll be a bunch of ads in there, and then the story will continue like on page seventy-eight, and then the rest of it might continue in the following. Some of these stories are like one one hit wonders. Others are continuations. And there's just so much here, and I just didn't have time to go through all this. So let's see, so I'm reading on the cover, so it says that uh, New Dimensions is an adult fantasy and science fiction featuring Michael Moorcock's The Dreaming City. So Michael Moorcock, of course, the big fantasy uh, writer, or author, I should say. Or adult advertising. There you go. Champagne. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty this cool. almost looks like Elric, right? I believe yes, that's his character's does. name. It Those does, actually. Stick out. Right? And I believe this is the Jim Starlin art. Totally does look like Elric. Yeah, Ed, Lord Elric. Yep. Yep. So that this is for the Moorcock, Moorcock story. So Elric was his po most popular character. So yeah, that explains but that, it. You know, Very cool. This is what I'm aspiring for in art when I draw. Just not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta keep working it, man. Yeah. Uh, just, you know... This is Jim Starlin art, this one. There you go, yeah. I remember this story. So now we got a new story. Almost looks like uh, Nosferatu down here. Yeah, I told her I was just gonna say that. So this one, Jim Starlin, you can, the zap, the zappers, Drawing <laughs> like Jim Starlin would have did great Iron Man. That looks like repulsor ray action, you know. Yeah. 
Then you flip to black and white. Yeah. Now this one. So most of these magazines were, you know, look, you've got some nudity there. Look at that. Oh, there you go. Here's kids, the adult part. Careful, kids. Shield your eyes. He's faking her eyes like, look over here. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember the first time he saw Beverly's uh, bare boobs in Howard the Duck Black and White magazine. I was like, whoa, look at that. Wow, that's pretty cool. So that's a... Uh, so this is based on this particular story, which is this Roy it? Thomas. Or? Roy Thomas script based on a novel by Robert E. Howard, so the guy who you know wrote uh, Conan. Oh, yeah. So yeah, I'll show you this again. Roy Thomas was big into the work of uh, Robert E. Howard. So, so Al, a, lot Al key, a lot of the key players from Marvel participated in this. As you can see, a lot of different stories, a lot of there's, different characters. There's this, oh yeah. Black and white. Oh, jeez, wow, that's great. We haven't gotten to the page I really want to show off, but I think I've shown it off before. Again, like prehistoric art. Mm -hmm. You got that Conan parallel, you know, the barbarian sci-fi feel to it. Here's oh, the page. Talk right. about a splash page. Wow. Here's your splash page for this magazine. Look at that, boys and girls. Yeah. I just zoom in on that creature. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. That's something you want you want hanging up on your wall. <laughs> yeah, that's a great copy. It's like make a poster of that, please. I think so. I took a picture of this monster once and used it as my wallpaper Did on my you? phone. Yeah, yeah that was right. a couple that's, years ago. That's pretty wild. Then we get to something else. This is totally different. <laughs> that's kind of goofy. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say a school textbook. Yeah, the worker in the city. Oh, yeah, so, it's like, uh, so now you got this weird, you know, this now here's a minor, this is a major switch, switcheroo in art from what we just came from. It looks like where the wild things are. Remember that book, that kid's book that we all read in the room? Yeah. That's exactly what that looks like. But it's a, it's, it's talk about switching gears, yeah, you know? Yeah. Then we'll go to black and white again. So they had a, you know, so now you got yeah, articles. articles. So when I was a kid, I'd be like, ah, "What? I know pictures." I never, I never read those. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you're trying to suck me in with a couple drawings, but I'm not right. reading it. Uh, you know, they they marketed these for adults, and that's yeah. why. But yeah, a lot of us kids were buying these. Then it gets like, a little better. The next page. Now we get some more background art, but you know, again, sketches that weren't colored in. Yep. But still, great art. Mm -hmm. You know. And these are something you, you know, it took a while to read, you know. I think this is the continuation of the Jim Starlin story that we saw earlier. This is the part two part. What's it called? The Meeting. Yep, chapter, chapter one. <laughs> what, greater, what better way to start off a first page with that other than a headshot? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, cool. Looks like a little sorcery action there. Got the drop on him. A little fight for the gun. A little struggle. A little Pinocchio nose action there. That's right. <laughs> so they were doing, I thought, a nice job of capture, capturing, you know, sci-fi with this magazine. Epic. I only had, like I said, I only had two, two issues, but I liked what I had, so I kept it. I didn't, never trashed it. Midnight Summer Dream, isn't that a Shakespeare story, <laughs> right? A Midnight Summer Dream? Yep. I don't remember how perverted this gets. We're going to find it out. Oh, more, more, uh, more nudity. There you go. This is our Rated R episode. Craig, if you're watching, uh, I'm sure you approve of this. Black and white. <laughs> no harm done. There you go. Oh, look at that. So it's got curves. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> curves are good. Oh, there you go. I like the nymph. The fairy nymph. How about the eyes? The two eyeballs down below there. Yep. But yeah, black and white detailed art.
So many different stories. My Room by Paul Kirshner. You know, for nineteen eighty for two bucks, man, you get a lot. I mean, there's a lot of stories in here. I mean, shit, some of the comics today, they're like $5, and you get like, you know, 12 look pages. At the, look at the morph, the monster. <laughs> Definitely true. And it's a short, short story. Yeah. And then we'll go to Tombstone. <laughs> now we're back in outer space. There you go. We'll go from some guy's living room to outer space place. again. Yeah. All over the place. And we got a different artist. We go from, right, switch it up, go from black and white. Outer space. So, Epic Magazine, for the third issue, I thought it was definitely out there. We'll come back to the barbaric story. In color. Yes. That's pretty cool. So you got a little bit of sci-fi, a little Conan action, a little bit of... Twilight Zone, like the one with the fantasy and yeah, everything. Like the, the previous bang for your buck. Yeah, yeah. I'll show this again. Yeah, it's right there. Cool monster. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what better way to plug it at the end? Mm-hmm. Epic Magazine, if you want to subscribe. And... What better way to final last inside cover back page of a Yukon Jack. Jack? Set in a fantasy scene, right? Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> you, will be, you will be fantasizing if you uh, haven't had I wonder how much they paid for that ad. I don't know. Not as bad as today's world, but, but I'm anyway. I'm just curious. Let me, I'm going to see this, uh, the ad page for the subscription. So what did they charge? So please send me one year, four quarterly issue epic for only six ninety five. Wow. Which would have been eight bucks if you did it at the newsstand issue. Yeah, yeah. So you were getting a little savings. Canada at a buck, foreign at two dollars, and closed is blank. Please check some money. was only payable with Marvel Comics. Wow. Yep. I think, again, I think it only went thirty-eight issues. So it was it was done by nineteen eighty-six. I think is when it finished. God, that cover is awesome. Man, Galacy was a genius. <laughs> I'm telling you. Holy smokes. Yeah, that's, that's worth at least fifty bucks. Wow, and it's in great condition too. Yeah, this, this is really cool. This magazine is really cool because they offer it a little bit something different. I love the fact that they have both the black and white and the color stuff in here, which I think is just great, yeah. And, that, so, and this was the reason is because of this character in this story. Gotcha. Well, that's a that Jim Stalin story is the original. First appearance, that's what it is. Gotcha. And I didn't do my homework to find out what his name is, but you can Google it. So this one, The Dreaming City, which is the El a Tale of Elric, uh, that was drawn by Craig Russell. Written by Roy Thomas. So Roy Thomas had his hand in most of this. Oh, look at this. TBK metal. That's pretty cool. That's so, pretty cool. there you have it, kids. Epic Magazine. Inside and the cover, number three. Inside the cover. Third issue, yep. Brought to you by my bicycle. That was one hell of a ride. Keeping you this, arrived safely. You're keeping this one straight was more Is of a Is that all you bought that day? I probably bought comics, too. Yeah. But this was... The support to keep the other comics straight in the bag because this was gotcha. bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, it's too. kept in a plastic bag with a backboard now. So. As it should. It, anyway, um, so, well, as always, guys, um, Wild Bill for Comic Book Geezer saying thanks for being here. Uh, please click the like button if you like this video or share it with your friends. That would help us out. We thank you for your subscriptions and as always, click the notification bell so you can be kept in the loop so every time we get a new video. And thank you for subscribing, and thank you for watching. So we'll see you next time on Comic Book Geezers. That's right. For Wild Bill, I'm Pete, and uh, we'll see you real soon, right? Uh, more comic book mania coming right at you. Take care. Take care. Bye-bye.